Hey guys, Mitch here. Welcome back to part two of this series, the top 10 best city tweaks for the year 2013. If you haven't checked out part one, I will throw a link in the description right below the like button, along with an annotation on the screen for your convenience. So without any further ado, let's dive into the top 10 city of tweaks for the year 2013, part two. Active Dock takes iOS stock system to a whole new height with fast and smooth bouncing animations, a beautiful light indicators, and a new native stylized dock. In the settings, you can customize how each application bounces as you open it up, just like you would have in OS X. Now you can also customize how the light indicators will show at the bottom, showing what apps are opened up in the background, and when notifications do come into your iOS device, you can see that the apps will continue to bounce, showing that you have a new notification. Type status is the jailbreak tweak that allows you to see when someone is typing an iMessage not within the actual messaging app. So normally you'll see those three dots when someone is typing a message, but now when someone types a message, three dots and an icon will be located in the status bar to show you that a person is typing a message for your convenience. Now here's a close up of it just to show you. Now this is great if you're not actually in the iMessage app, if you're browsing on your phone, Twitter, Facebook, or just on your springboard, you will be able to see those three dots indicated in the status bar to show you that someone is typing a message and then when it does come in, you can head over to the message. Gridlock 2.0 offers the ability to drag your icons however you would like on your springboard. Now this is built in with a drag and drop capabilities to move them to any of the different locations on your springboard without having them to be bunched up like Apple would normally have it. So you can move apps, folders, anything you would like to your springboard just to customize your needs on your device. Tap to Widgets brings your widgets for reminders, notes, and calendars directly to your notification center in a convenient way without actually opening up the apps. So this combines the previous tweaks of Tap2 into one universal tweak for your social media networks of both Facebook and Twitter. You can compose a new message. You also have the ability to add an event, editing out the title, the location, and the start and the end time. We also have the ability to compose a new note. If you want to quickly write down something, just head over to your notification and you can easily enter in a quick note. And last but not least is the ability to edit out a reminder to yourself so you can change the alarm along with the date and the time. Now if you do have Dashboard X, you can bring this experience directly to your springboard allowing you to set a reminder, type out a note, or add something to your calendar without having to actually go to your notification center. So it just brings the experience to your springboard in one quick and convenient way. Live Papers brings an innovative way of customizing your iOS wallpaper. Now this will bring full customization of wallpapers in a powerful and battery efficient app without the need of draining your battery on your device. So within the app you can customize how each wallpaper will be designed playing both in the background of your home along with the lock. Now you can get additional add-ons such as the Nexus or the Bubbles Pro add-on in Cydia as well. So if you head over to the Nexus here, I do like this one a lot, and you can customize it to show on both your home screen and your lock screen. Now there's no respring needed, so once you choose the different options, you can see it playing in the background, and this won't take a toll on your battery as well. And if you want to see on the lock screen, just go ahead and lock your device, and the same background image will be appearing on your lock screen. Now we also have the ability to configure each individual background so in the Nexus wallpaper you can customize the strip width, the length, um, the velocity and any of the um, background appearance and here is the Bubbles Pro wallpaper playing in the background. SciU modifies the music app to add a playlist called SciU where songs get queued when a song is being played in the background. So for this to work, you wanna go ahead and have a song already being played in the background. I have muted it for this video demo. And then you can browse the different songs within your library to add some of the different options. So some of these, of these different options include the play now, which will interrupt what you're playing to play them right now. The play next will put the item right after the current one. And the play last will put that item directly at the end of your upcoming queue. So if you head over to one of the songs here and we click on the play now, it will begin to play that song currently overriding the song that I have 
already being played in the background. Now the next option is the play next. So once I go ahead and click on that, it will begin to add a new playlist called Psy You. Now in this playlist, you have the song that is already being played along with the play next song, which will be played after the current song. So we can go ahead and browse into the last one, which is known as play last. And after adding some song to my queue, that, that last song will, will be added directly after all the songs that are being played next and songs that are added to the play next will come directly after the current song. Raise the Call is a jailbreak tweak that offers the ability to call the sender instead of sending out a text message while you are viewing an SMS conversation with them. Now this works by covering up the proximity sensor as you hold it up to your ear. So while you are in an SMS conversation with them, you just hold it up to your ear. This will activate the sensor and then it will begin to dial your sender and you can talk to them on the phone instead of sending out an SMS message to them. Last Pick allows you to easily share the last photo that you have taken when sharing a photo via the Messages app. So right now I'm going to head over to my camera here, snap a photo just to show you that this is my most recent photo. Then if I head over to my Messages and I hit the little camera button, you normally have the options of taking a photo or choosing existing, but now you can use the last photo taken and this will automatically import the last photo that you did use or take using your camera. Now this also works if you take a screenshot, so I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot here. It will be added to my photo album and I just use the last photo taken and it will be added to my composition. Pod Switcher enables you to have access to your complete iPod library right from the app switcher so you never have to quit your work or game just to change the song. Now this will supercharge the app switcher music controls and it works perfectly both with OXO and Zephyr. Now at the top your iPod library is arranged in a beautiful carousel sorted by the different songs, artists, albums, and playlists. So if you are within a game and you want to listen to a specific song without leaving your current progress, you can just launch your app switcher and then launch pod switcher and then you can select your specific song. So you will have access to the, the iTunes album artwork right in the center and like I said before this is compatible with OXO as well so you do have your normal music and iPod controls allowing you to change the different songs and above that we have the fast forward along with the rewind buttons allowing you to go faster to a specific point in the song you can also search for a specific song if you would wish and we also have the option to tweet our song on Twitter if you would like we'll compose a new message. So it just reamps the music controls so you never have to leave your work just to listen to a song. Animer provides you with countless choices to animate your iOS device from your banners, your alerts, and your multitasking switcher. In the settings you can choose the different animations, how each animation will fade in, zoom in, dismiss, and you can even customize how fast the animation will appear. Now you can also customize the different alerts, so if you want to have it zoom in or fade into a specific um, ability, you can right within Animer settings. You can also change out how each multitasking switcher will come in. So if you want to have it fade in from a long to a short or from a short to a long distance, you can customize these all within Animer settings to your liking. I hope you guys enjoyed part two of the top Cydia tweaks for the year 2013. Make sure you subscribe to be updated when the next part is available for the series and my upcoming videos. Thanks guys.